Hello everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today we have the new Criterion release for After Hours, a film by Martin Scorsese. This is the 4K edition, which also comes with the Blu-ray. Um, this came out yesterday, and also yesterday we had a bunch of releases, which I will have videos for all up at the same time if you're interested in checking them out. Um, Bo is Afraid, of course, the A24 movie, um, Scream 6, um, and then uh, Sisu, Sisu, I'm not really sure how you uh, pronounce that properly. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be doing digital copy giveaways for all three of these. So if you're interested in entering, you know, feel free to check out the videos. Um, but yeah, yesterday obviously was a big day for releases. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, this of course is a Criterion Blu-ray, so no digital copy obviously with this. Um, so this is part of the ongoing sale at uh, Barnes & Noble right now. Um, every July and every November, if you guys didn't know, if you're into Criterions or curious about them, you can go to Barnes & Noble and buy them 50% off. Um, I don't think it's for the entire month anymore. I think they changed it. It's actually like a specific, you know, set date from July whatever to July whatever, I, but it's most of the month. So um, I actually did pick up the new Thelma and Louise edition um, as well as uh, Triangle of Sadness just because I heard a lot of stuff about that movie. And then this one, of course, I wanted to pick up because I've actually seen this movie um, one time, long time ago in film class in uh, high school. And I wanted to always revisit this, but it never really ha had like a nice release like this. So I knew in the back of my mind, like, this is probably going to be a Criterion one day. So whenever that day comes, you know, <laughs> so the day has finally come. Um, if you guys are fans of The Weeknd, obviously The Weeknd released an album called After Hours. And I believe that was during the pandemic too, 2020, um, which is a great album, you know. But heavily inspired by this film, obviously. Um, there was an episode of Ted Lasso that was inspired by this movie. Um, but uh, keeping it vague, it's basically about a guy in New York who gets into a lot of uh, wacky adventures um, in the after hours. You know, the, uh, the uh, graveyard hours, I guess, you know, after midnight. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, wackiness ensues. I, I can't remember everything about this movie. I watched it like 10 years ago, like I said, like one time. So, can't wait to actually revisit this. Of course, uh, Martin Scorsese, one of the greatest directors of all time. And his new film, um, Killers of the Flower Moon, that looks really good. I can't wait to check that out. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad this did get a Criterion. Now, since they're doing 4Ks, you know, it automatically got a 4K. So, that's cool. Um, here's the spine, after hours. And then the number is 1,185. So... But yeah, I really like the colors on this. It's very, um, <laughs> very uh, neon kind of, I guess. Or I almost wanted to say pastel. It's not pastel. It's kind of more like neonish. Um, I don't know. It makes me think of like Taco Bell in the '90s or something. Um, <laughs> but this is a film from the '80s, 1985. Um, it's not that long either. It's only an hour and 37. So we do get a bunch of features on here. Um, you do get a commentary, which is cool. So that's nice. So, but yeah, I can't wait to actually uh, revisit this movie. So, this man is a burglar. If you see him, stop him. And, uh, yeah, main character here named Paul. So, we do get a nice booklet here if you want to pause and read anything on the screen here. There you go. The main actor in this movie, I actually don't even know his name. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. Um, let's see, Paul, play, played by Griffin Dunn. Yeah, I don't really... But you do have uh, Rosanna Arquette in there. Tommy Chong is in there. Linda Florentino. John Hurd. Cheech Marin. Oh, so Cheech and Chong are both in this. <laughs> Again, I, I don't remember. Uh, character actor Dick Miller, of course. Catherine O'Hara. Will Patton. I'm just listing the names that I actually recognize here. Um... Yeah, but still, can't wait to, how many times I'm going to say that, Rewatch this movie. So, I don't know if this is like, when you ask people, like, what's your top ten Scorsese movies, I don't know if this one ever gets mentioned, really. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. So, the discs here, really nice disc art. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is, this image. So, forgive me. And then there's the Blu-ray. And then here's the inside. And then I remember, too, when I watched this in film class, my film teacher was like, oh, this is a metaphor, you know, <laughs> metaphor for something, or allegory, sorry. Um, yeah, so we do get, like, basically 
like in New York, like the subway routes and stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. But uh, that's really it. So Criterion, of course, they either include like a booklet like this or a poster or, you know, whatever. This is more of like a fold-out kind of style. So, but anyways, let me know if you've uh, watched this movie. How would you like rank it with Scorsese? Is it in your top 10, top 15, top 20 even? That's how many great movies he's made. Um, and uh, what do you think of the transfer? Does it actually look uh, decent? So I wouldn't know. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this, and stay tuned for those other unboxings, and have a good one. Bye-bye.